I'm Anil Kumar. We are going to explore combination of functions. But before that, let's get ready. Here is an example in which we'll deal with two different kinds of functions. Question is, find all real numbers x such that square root of 1 minus square root of 1 minus x is equals to x. So we have radical function on the one side and a linear function on the other side. Now how to solve such a question? Important thing here is, before you start solving, you should consider the domain of the function, right? Now, so that when you know there is some answer, it should satisfy the equation, right? That's very important. So what do you think is the domain of the function? Now, you can get into the details. I know you have already, you know a lot about functions. You can always write domain of the function. Let me give you the answer and then you figure it out. Domain of this function is that x belongs to real numbers where x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equals to 1. That is the domain of the function. You could find domain by first working on this radical. 1 minus x should be positive, right? That means x is less than or equal to 1, correct? Positive or 0, non-negative I should say. And then, you know, uh, the outer square root. 1 minus all that. Now this all that function, this is another function, right? That is why we combi combination of function comes into picture. So 1 minus that function should be non-negative. Non-negative means maximum value it could have is 1. Do you understand? So that gives you this to me. As an exercise, I like you to get into these details also. Anyway, let's continue with the solution now. So first part is consider domain, right? So x has to be between 0 and 1, both included. Now how do you solve such an equation? So we can square both sides. So our strategy here will be square both sides. Right? So whenever you have radical, uh, the idea is square both sides. So when you square both sides, one, you incorporate errors. Second, you get rid of square root. So you can solve. So that is how it is. So it can lead to extraneous roots. So whenever you solve such equation, you have to check your answer. That is what we are trying to say. Let us square both sides. Once we do that, let me first copy the question as such. And then I will square. 1 minus square root of 1 minus x equals to x. When I square, I get 1 minus square root of 1 minus x equals to x square. I still have radical so I'll again bring it on one side and then again square right so 1 minus x square um, equals to square root of 1 minus x okay now let's square again so we get 1 minus x square whole square equals to 1 minus x now to solve it uh, we can bring it to the left side so we get 1 minus x Okay, uh, with the negative sign. Uh, let me write this in factored form. 1 minus x square could be written as 1 minus x times 1 plus x, correct? Whole square. Let me write this first. And then I'll do minus of 1 minus x equals to 0. That will help us. So now we can factor 1 minus x. Okay, and we get what? From here we have 1 minus x whole square and 1 plus x whole square. So one of them has been factored out. So we get 1 factor of 1 minus x and 1 plus x whole square. And this gives us minus 1 equals to 0. So this particular equation can give us at least uh, one solution and that is 1 minus x equals to 0, right? So let's write this equation again. And then we we'll write down the solution. 1 minus x is one factor. The other factor is within this bracket. Let me open this also. So, so we have 1 minus x times. I'll square 1 plus x square. I'll write this 1 plus 2x plus x square minus 1. Okay. All that. Now from here we have one solution and that is this is equal to 0 when x is equal to 1. So we have at least one solution, correct? Let me push the page a bit. We will find the other solutions after factoring this out. 
So this could be written as equal to 1 minus x times. Let us expand this also. So all this should be equal to 0, correct. So this implies all this. So when I open using distributive property, I get 1 plus 2x plus x square multiplying by minus x gives me minus x minus 2x square minus x cube then I have minus 1 equals to 0. So that implies 1 minus x is 1 and minus 1 is 0. Let's rearrange these terms minus x cube and then we have minus uh, 2x square minus x gives us minus x square then x terms we have 2x minus x so plus x equals to 0 I can factor x correct so that implies 1 minus x times x uh, let me factor minus x so I can make these positive so I have x square plus x minus 1 since I factored minus x outside do you understand okay now this gives us a couple of solutions one solution here is that x is equals to 0. This comes from here. The other is x is equals to 1. So definitely two solutions we have. So this comes from here, right? The other one is from the factor, this factor. Correct. So we have at least two solutions. The other solutions we can find from this term. Now to find these solutions, what we can do is... Uh, we can use quadratic formula. So let's use quadratic formula to find solutions here. x equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times a is 1 and uh, c is minus minus 1, okay, square root divided by 2 times 1 which is 2. So that gives us minus 1 plus minus square root of 1 plus 4, okay, divided by 2. Or let me write this as minus 1 plus minus square root of 5 divided by 2 and let's use calculator to find these values so what do we get we get uh, minus 1 plus square root of 5 equals to divide by 2 equals to in decimals when we add plus sign we get 0 0.618 okay and the other one is when we use a minus sign so we have minus 1 minus square root of 5 equals to divided by 2 equals to 2 so we get the other answer as as 2 right so let me check this so let me do the other way so square root of 5 is equal to in decimals 2.23 because we got 2 so I have to check my answer right square root of 5 is 2.236 so I, I don't think this is right calculation let me redo it right so we'll write this as minus 1 plus minus 2.23 okay round it to 4 divide by 2 let's do it again so we have when we use both negative signs we are getting a negative value more than one because two point right so that is negative sign is more than one that is not going to help us so we get 2.24 plus one equals to divide by two equals to uh, this is minus 1.62 right i didn't use minus but that is what we'll get and the other one is 2.2 4 minus 1 equals to divided by 2 equals to in decimals 0.62 well that was correct 0 0.62 was correct okay now since we know that the domain for us is between 0 to 1 the other value fits in correct so it's a good idea to check 0 0.618 in the answer so we have one possible solution that is x equals to 0 0.618 right let us see if I substitute this value do I get x value so let's do that part so we have square root of 1 minus and then again square root of 1 minus point 
618 right so let us see what is this equal to so it is equal to 0 0.618 so that is a valid solution right so that is a valid solution so we have three solutions here so our answer is x is equals to 0 x is equals to 1 and x is equals to 0 0.618 a do you get the idea so we have three different solutions for the given equation it's kind of important to check whether you know uh, the answers which you get are valid or not so those so this one is the extraneous root which was really i did some calculation mistake here but anyway you understand the concept right so to solve such questions whenever radicals are involved square roots are involved in, in specifically you square both sides and then solve once you get your answer check your answer so that's the whole idea i hope it helps thank you and all the best